episode four of uh, my Let's Play for Alpha 17. This is Double O Debbie, and welcome back. Um, <laughs> as you can hear, there's quite a crowd going on, <laughs> wandered around up above my little hidey hole down here. And I've been hunkering down since, oh, about one o'clock. I was trying to clear out some more stuff. Um, got this side of the wall finished and I was gonna start putting the wall in here when uh, the crowd came back. <laughs> uh, well, they didn't really come back, they just came. So they've been wandering around out there. Uh, luckily, I escaped their notice, which is good. Uh, I can hear them walking on the board, so, so it's kind of creepy. Uh, but anyway, we can, while we're waiting, uh, we're going to go ahead and look at some of the points. I've been building some flagstone blocks because I have the clay and the rocks. I went and gathered some rocks um, that were close by uh, in before it got too dark. Uh, so yeah, that's good. Uh, but we have some more skill points available to us. We no longer have the death penalty. Um, what I want to do is, in case, this is going to be, uh, normally you can't really, um, do any farming until level 20 because you can't make a hoe. But on the off chance that we do find a hoe, I want to be able to turn the seeds, uh, make the seeds so that we can get a farm going. So I am going to spend one point just for that so we can get a farm going, just in case. I also would like to spend a point in the well insulated because that gives us protection from heat and cold, which will help... Um, you know, reduce our stamina costs and whatnot because we can't spend pretty much any more points in here uh, because we can't get that level four until level 20. Uh, so what I want to do is we got the living off the land. I want to spend the point in well insulated and it's now daytime, uh, but I also want to we have light armor now, and we have that military armor that we got last time, which is also considered light armor. I would like to spend the point in that to increase our light armor rating and improve the durability, and that will be awesome. Okay, uh, so we have one more point left. I think I want to do um, the stamina regen when sprinting. Uh, that way while we're running around, we don't use as much stamina, which would be awesome. Um, unless, oh, it's so hard to spend the points early on. The skull crusher would be nice if we get the headshots in. That would do 25% more damage. Um, Also, the cuts would be nice. That would be bleeding damage. Um, flurry of blows, melee attack speed. That we're using more. We're using more stamina though if we increase our attack speed. Uh, we could do the wrecking crew to increase the power attack damage by five percent. That would be awesome because we mainly use the power attack uh, when we're meleeing. There's so many up there. Okay, we're gonna have to, let's go ahead and spin that. I think that's what I want, the wrecking crew. And we're gonna try and bust out of here real quick. I did, I've got the, I wanna try the, the ax. All right, let's, let's just rush out. Oh, yeah, there's like, oh my god, it's like a wandering horde went by, and they've just been milling about. Oh, oh. oh my god, they're everywhere. <laughs> they just kind of spread out. Please don't go down into my base. This is really 
really slow to swing, but it does way more damage than our other weapon. So maybe we'll... Oh, I hate that I missed. Okay, it looks like we're clear on this side. A fresh one. This one's damaged, so we should kill her. I hope I didn't get a chance to uh, shut my gate. I think somebody just went down into my base. Oh, that's awful. Let me go shut that. Maybe he'll come up. Yep, there he goes. Come on up, buddy. Don't want him down there. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. I think that was the only one that went down there. Hopefully, lucked out. Um, I changed uh, a video setting in after episode two, and I expected it that it would stay. As you can see, I'm getting a little bit better frame rates today. Uh, but when I logged out, it reset uh, the resolution, and the resolution. When, when it's the same as your desktop resolution, you get a lot better frame rates. So that's why the frame rates were a little bit off. We got some more guys over here. Let's go ahead and clear them out so they don't come and bite us in the butt later. I like it that it's only two hits uh, to kill these guys. Oh! I didn't get a good gift on him. Oh! She did not die. Okay. There we go. So, yeah, I changed my resolution. It was like something crazy. Uh, just the default setting, I guess, of 2500. By 1800. It's not that my monitor can't do it, it's just that it's a little bit better to record in a lower re resolution. So I bumped it down to like 1900 by two, uh, 1080. 19 something. Oh yeah. I'm getting the zombie sledge on. I think there was another one over here. Yeah. Let's go get him taken care of. So hopefully that'll help out when we go in the houses, too. Oh, I hear another one. They were just, oh, oh man. I wish I could have, I, I know I said last episode that we were going to go back into that house. And we might. We might if we, uh, whoa. What am I missing? We might if we get a chance. Let's go ahead and bandage up so our max health goes up. Because we're just going to be hanging around trying to start building up our base. Uh, building up the fortifications. Let's go down and make sure that none are down in here. Okay, it looks clear. Looks good. Let's go back up. Okay, so... Uh, the middle of this is going to be on this block, not on the ladder block, but right there. <sighs> I got scratched by my cat. It's just a teensy weensy scratch, but man, it itches so bad. Okay, so we're going to go out. Uh, the dimensions down there matter uh, because we don't want to be building smaller than the dimensions down there. We want to make sure that we have the structural integrity because physics are a thing in this game. Uh, so there's one, two, three, four, and then this is the wall. So we want to make sure that uh, we get our supports down. So one, two, three, four, and then there's the wall. One, two, three, four, and there's the wall. One, two, three, four, and there's the wall. <laughs> Uh, so I haven't really dug out this side yet, but I have this side and I plan on digging out the rest all the way underneath this whole place uh, and just sort of make, I guess, make that a work area. 
There's the corners. And where these blocks are, I'm going to want to put support. Uh, I'm going to, I don't know. I haven't really seen this type of base built. This is just something. I, it's a, a concept, I guess. You can either build your bases to A, keep the monsters out and fortify that whole area. Or you can sort of have it to where, eh, they can come in. So actually, I think I want, what is that? Eight. I want eight more of these guys because I want to go down a block. Actually, I want, yeah, eight. Uh, the middle one already has wood underneath it, so we'll just uh, we'll leave it as wood. Okay, so <laughs> um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some pillars here. And we're going to go up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted the corners first. And I didn't build enough. So I need like 24 more blocks. Let's see. Can we make that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Great. We got tons of stuff to make this. So I hope it's okay. Um... What I want to do is get these guys over here too. Oh, yeah, that's a thing. So let's get this corner down. And yeah, we can reach. So I want the to reduce the amount of materials that I need because maintaining, you know, upgrading all that stuff, it's, it's so expensive. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's, ooh, let's just get the, so I'm going to have these pillars and we're going to sort of have the concept that it's okay for them to come in. Because we're going to be prepared for them. And we're going to be lying in wait. They're going to be <laughs> uh, hurting if they come into our base. Which we're just going to let them. Uh, because the zombies are they are a little bit smarter. But they're also still zombies. They're still dumb. They will uh, fall into our traps. Ah, come on. There we go. So it'll be awesome. Uh, I think I made enough for the center pillar too. And the whole concept behind this is having this many pillars is that each of them will... Um, basically support the nearby ones. So if one happens to get broken, nothing should fall because it's sort of redundant. Like this, this pillar will be, um, if it breaks, the two around it will support the blocks uh, so that it won't fall. Uh, which is sort of, it's sort of cheaty. It just makes sense that it should fall, but because of the way the physics are. Come on. I think I need one more. Uh, that's just how the game works. So we're going to have these pillars. I might eventually uh, do this middle ring as um, solid blocks. Uh, solid cobblestone blocks. But for now it's just going to be wood frames. And... Uh, the middle is all going to be see-through so we can shoot down into the mobs and maybe later once we get uh, our own forge we'll start upgrading those to iron bars which would be awesome because it'll be a lot harder for like um a cop to break those with his uh puking breath and hopefully we won't get a cop on our first horn night hopefully um, it 
It could be a thing. <laughs> it could be a thing. Oh, dude, I didn't dig out. I'm such a nut. I, I made the blocks so that I could dig out underneath. Uh, so that the it wouldn't be dirt underneath. And then I got to just completely spaced out because... <sighs> there we go. So... Now, this, with the center one, the center one will also support these so that if this block falls, it's also being supported by the two next to it and the center one. And if that one falls, it'll be supported by these other two blocks there, the other two towers, so sort of. Um, and we're going to, hmm, we're going to need a way up. A way up that the zombies can't get up. Um, so, oh, we need some more wood frames. So let's make that happen real quick. We might need to go and gather some of the wood. I have been replanting the trees. You can see the little sapperlings down there. Uh, I've been, as I've been cutting them down, I've been replacing them. Uh, so, we should be able to, let's come down here and fix my little mess where I'm, I meant to build these blocks up. So, we're going to just place that uh, just in case, but I know it shouldn't fall. How do you, I wonder, I haven't, oh, so you can see that's where the corner of my base is underneath, uh, that's why I want, there we go, so I wonder, can I make, like, the soil blocks, the burnt forest ground, but we want, like, the normal forest ground, so we're going to need, like, eight of those. Okay, we have we have enough so that we can uh, dig out underneath. I'll get rid of that real quick. Oh wow, it takes a long time. So that way um, we can replace that. Get our blocks. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit that. Uh, grass, but that's okay. And all of these blocks should be supported by the wall underneath as well. There we go. And we'll replace that. Good job. See, it's already looking like a base already. That's awesome. I shouldn't actually need those uh, frames to support it because like I said it's all redundant uh, all of the blocks should be all of the the towers should be supported by the other towers why is this one off oh because I haven't finished this corner I finished only that corner so this one I haven't actually done yet that's why it's not looking right. So there we go. Oh no! I didn't want to do that. That was the wrong block. So I need to make another one. Uh, craft one more. Right, so I'm a ninny. I meant to place this block. So my thoughts are that I get this area where I can stand up there safely and shoot them because that's a good strategy. Uh, let them in and then rain hellfire from above. <laughs> that's the whole concept. It's, it's a good one. I've used it. Uh, it works. Uh, and you can even, there's, there is a third option. You can fortify your base to keep them out, but also to let them in, uh, let them in to certain areas. 
Um, which, with the zombies being, their, their AI is a little bit smarter than before. Uh, like, they can path to you, but if they're still a zombie, they're not going to smell the trap. And I'm going to lay traps for them. Like, um, the whole uh, idea is that I've seen how some of them move, and they will go all the way around the fence uh, to get through the open area. And that's a, an, uh, something that I plan on exploiting to my own poipuses. Uh, so I want to build a fence and make choke points where uh, they can't just come at me from all directions. They have to go through these choke points where I can uh, put more traps and, and concentrate my fire to one area instead of having to go, well, which one do I pick off? Uh, I can get the ones that are closer to the choke points, which will be more beneficial to me. Uh, it'll take them longer, especially since I'm not used to playing with the zombies running at night. I generally don't like that, uh, but I figured, you know, I noticed in my play style that I normally stayed inside at night anyway, because I don't like not being able to see. That's, uh, in my opinion, more scary than the zombies running. So I figured if I'm going to stay in my base at night, um, why not let the zombies run? Uh, so yeah, that's a thing. So we're going to try and get this uh, at least a little bit fortified because I'm sick of sitting in that hole for, you know, several game hours not being able to do anything because the zombies are up top milling about and I can't do anything. I can't shoot them from down there. I can't, uh, <laughs> I can't do anything. So the whole purpose of this is to allow me to, uh, be topside in the nighttime and be able to, um, you know, fight the zombies, at least even with just my arrows. Uh, that would be awesome. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, I might just put a ladder up here with a hatch, of course. Um, I found that if you distract the zombies, uh, they generally don't make it to the ladder. Uh, so I thought, uh, like maybe I could have, uh, no. See, here's my thought. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's get our our tools back. Uh huh. Um, this is our repair tool, so that's important. Um, my thoughts are to have like a three wide area around here. So we go one, two. Three, just so I can walk around from above, which would make that uh, one, two, three, and then this would be the corner of like uh, for another pillar. And then we could also have one here. Uh, this is, I'm going to need like a, you can pretty much call it a staged build. Like this is the first stage, our basic structure. Now we can uh, temporarily place some spikes around the middle here. Uh, maybe get some ladders on the outside part here so that we can get up. Um, make the... Uh, at least a two wide scaffolding all the way around. So we'll probably need to chop some more wood we got a fire axe now, so that'll make that go a little bit faster. And I want to tear down this tree because it's in the way, impeding my view of the surrounding area. Oh, uh, we might need to go down and get some 
food because our stamina, our stamina cap is way down. Let's finish off this tree and go get some food. Uh, I was a little bit to start out. Uh, I was a little bit down, but I didn't want to eat the food because I wasn't down enough. And I cooked up all of the bacon and eggs from all that meat that we got from the boar and the merchant. He should have refreshed by now too, but we don't have any money to go over there to get anyway. But I do want to go over there and throw this iron in there. Because we can also make iron arrowheads. Yes. Um, I wish there was a way that you could easily check your thirst. So we're 24 down. I think that would be okay to just drink a normal water. Let's not waste our extended water. So there we go. All right, and I want to, I don't want to put that, I did make a couple more chests. I don't want to put that much in there. Maybe that, no, let's put that much in there. That'll be good. <laughs> All right, so. That'll be good. Let's go to the trader and uh, put this stuff in the forge and get it going. Um, we'll start some arrowheads. I had a few that I looted and I made those up and I want to just use up these stone arrows now and maybe we'll get to the other ones. Uh, oh good, we have 10, 10 more in there. Okay, let's put this, let's see, can we make we make any iron arrowheads oh we got to make an anvil so let's go ahead and make one of those uh, let's crap one of those guys it takes two minutes oh my goodness but once we get that we'll be able to make the iron arrowheads which uh, Will increase our damage so we're going to try to use these up now so that we can have iron arrows for the board when it comes um, we're not going to sit here and wait so but i don't want to go too far because i want to check back on that so let's go look you're not bringing counterfeit money in here <laughs> are you oh shut up uh, let's go look and see what he changed to I already have a job and he won't give us any more. Uh, you got anything good? Oh look, he's got an anvil, some hunting rifles, steel leg armor. I don't really like the idea of the heavy armor because it slows you down. And maybe once we get higher level, look, he's got an iron pickaxe. I should have brought that other hunting knife and sold him the hunting knife. Uh, oh, I could sell those papers that we got. Uh, I want to keep the extra wrench. I'm going to try and use this one up so that we can use it when we make... Oh, look at that machete. <laughs> 3,000. I don't have it. And he's going to reset on day 7. Oh, he's still got some raw meat. He's got 35. Oh, I'd love to get that. That's 60 per. and But we could save because... Uh, we have eggs. We need to loot more. Mm -hmm. Will he buy pine seeds? No. So that's good to know. Um, if, if we get something to sell, we can buy that. Oh, look, he's got a mining helmet. Oh. <laughs> I want the mining helmet so bad. I hate not being able to see. Not seeing is the worst. Um, uh, yeah, this is just, uh, stuff and things. We've got all those. Oh, we could sell some feathers if we go and loot a lot of 
things. All right, well, he does have the meat, which is good. We'll definitely want to come back and get that if we can. Let's go check on our forge, see if we can queue up some arrowheads, and then we'll go back to our base. Yes. There we go. Iron arrowheads, how many can we make? 155. Yes, please. That will give us quite a bit. Uh, awesome. Awesome. Okay, so we'll just let that run. It's got like 10 minutes. Each one is 5 seconds. Quick math, that would be uh, 12 per minute. So that's about 10 minutes. Um, maybe we should put some more until we get it back up to 10 minutes. There we go. That should melt all of that iron up for us. Good, 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 good. Okay. Now we can... Um, how's our wood? 300. Probably can't chop down that tree because it's too close. But we could probably get this one. Yeah, there we go. Um, I do want to cook. I want to replant the stuff. Cause I don't want to have to go farther and farther out to get resources. Now I'm definitely going to have to do that with the rocks because those I can't replant. Speaking of rocks, let's kill that one because we definitely want, uh, we definitely want to make some more of those cobblestone rocks. And, um, for the inner one, we definitely want to make sure that the inner part of our structure is reinforced. Uh, so we want to upgrade those. They're flagstone, but you can upgrade them to get them more durability with just the cobblestone rocks. So having extra cobblestone rocks is good. I want to get those upgraded before I build the outer, the outer part. Awesome. Okay, let's chop down this tree. Uh, definitely, uh, let's wait, 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 I didn't get, oh, I killed the rock, I was like, I didn't get, a, a, I, don't, I don't want this one this close to my base, so let's chop that down real quick. Let's put it over there. Okay, so, um, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. No. Um, I don't want the ladder here. Uh, I might want to, like, put the ladder up here, though. Oh, I don't, I didn't favorite the ladders. We need to do that. Okay, that's six tall, but we only want to do, like, five. Uh, I know that... I, I always find that I need to jump up to get up on the ladder anyway. So we're going to do that. And what I might do is come out uh, one, two, three, and then here. Build another tower with another ladder up. Uh, and then I'll just build one so that I can get up easily. So let's do that now. Let's make seven more blackstone blocks. Uh, seven so I can actually dig this one down. Uh, 
So I remember. Okay. Oh, I like it that it pops it into my inventory. That is kind of cool. One more, please. Thank you. So there. Uh, now I want to need another five ladders. Ah, I didn't mean that one. I meant this one. Ooh. I like it that you can hug, hug the, the tower on the way down and not take falling damage. That's kind of cool. All right. There we go. So now we want to make um, a couple of hatches. Uh, this won't like keep the zombies out, but it will definitely deter them. And um, we'll upgrade them with our scrap iron to give them a lot more hit points. Yeah, I want the handle facing the ladder. Right there. And where's our other one? Is that facing the same way? Yes. Good. Uh, now we'll repair it. I still want to, hopefully, we're doing good. It's only like 10 o'clock game time in the morning. So that's good. We'll go ahead and upgrade these as much as we can. So that gives us a way up. Um... We also want to fill this up with wooden frames. Let's, I don't know, make 50 to start off. That probably won't be enough. But we at least want to go one all the way around uh, our, our little pillars to make it more secure. And we have one around this tower. So that's good. Uh, oh, I wish they had the crouch like in Minecraft so you wouldn't fall off. But they don't. Uh, this might actually be easier to do from down below. So I don't have to worry about falling off. Oh, yeah. So... Um... Well, uh, you know, how is everybody else doing their bases? I've only seen, like, I've watched Games for Kicks play. He just fortified a POI, which, you know, I, I did that too, so that's okay. Um, I think I need, like, 50 more of these guys because I want to fill in the middle. Fill in the middle. Um... I also saw Cage. He did like a couple of uh, twin. He did the twin towers, uh, so that he could go back and forth, uh, which was good. Um, I've been watching um, Game Edge, but I haven't gotten far enough to see him what he does for his first Fortnite. Uh, so that ought to be interesting to watch. Uh, so, um, you know, if you've tried something, uh, or you have a, a game, uh, a, a base design, let me know. I, I'm interested to hear it because I like trying different things, uh, to see how they work. You know, and there's no better way to see how they work than to see it for yourself. Awesome. Okay. We got one all the way around. We got ladders going up. So, um, like what I want to do now is sort of clear this grass away. Uh, because in between these pillars and around them, I want to put some wooden spikes. Uh, so that if the zombies do come in, they're going to they're gonna have to pay for it. You know, with, with their lives. 
hopefully. So let's clear out some of this grass. Uh, clearing out the grass sometimes, uh, it's a bonus because you can see clearly uh, on the ground. Sometimes when the zombies fall down, they break the grass anyway. So if you're going to have a killing area, the grass is going to be cleared eventually. Um, but killing the grass also increases your heat map. The grass actually lowers uh, the heat of an area. So it's good to have some grass. Uh, so we'll be needing like four out from each side because that's where the that should be good for now so this is defensible um but we also need to be I did see like um vultures spawn um we're gonna go ahead and repair our axe um Let's go ahead and go, since it's early, let's go back into uh, this house and try and get to that last room that we didn't get before. I think it was in this closet. No. Where was that closet? Uh, oh, here it was. Yeah, there was a room we didn't get to last time because... Uh, it's a little bit too late, so let's go see if we can clear that out. There might be more zombies in there, so let's be quiet. Oh, it's unlocked. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Can I close this? Yeah, there are zombies in there. Why can't I? In the last one, there was like a gate. Um... Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's for me. 900 experience. Those are barrels in there, I think. Uh, so, oh, here's a dude. He's coming to see us. I want to get my fire axe. Is he going to be able to climb up? Yeah. Maybe he could even get through here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's see if we can... Oh. There we go. Right in the head. How did that hit her back? I don't know, but she's running. She's a feral. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that probably wasn't very funny, but... I thought it was. Let's aim up a little so we can get over our little barricade here. Luckily, they're not trying to break it. I missed. Dang it. I don't think I can get to him. Um, maybe if I just put a block here and stood on the block, I'd be able to fire... Oh through these bars. Yeah. Oh, it's a... I hate the spider ones. I really do. They make the most uh, horrible sound. Yeah, those are all 900 because they're all ferals. Okay. I don't think there's any more. So... Let's break down our barrier. All right. All the graves are empty. The whole area looks clear. Awesome. So, 
um, some gore blocks to get some bones. Yeah, power attack. Oh, I missed. All right, let's go um, see what's in this room. It's unlocked. Is there anybody in there? I don't think there was anybody in there last time. I think the big thing was dealing with all those ferals. Oh, there's another part. Let's, um... <laughs> let's, let's sort of... Uh, that's probably a bad thing. If I need to escape... Oh, look, this is a an empty room. Well, it's not empty. It's got stuff in it, but it's, there's no zombies. So that's good. Some steel crossbow bolts. Um, from what I've seen in my last game, uh, the crossbow is not as good as like a compound bow. So hopefully we can find one. Oh, this is a working stiff box. <gasps> Look, we did get a hoe. Our points weren't wasted. Oh, that is so awesome. Oh, and there's a reinforced chest with some steel gloves and steel chest armor. Oh. It's really good quality stuff, but um, I think I'll probably wind up selling that because I don't want the heavy armor yet until we can modify it to make it to where it doesn't suck as bad. Uh, <laughs> um, not that it sucks. I mean, it gives you good protection. It's just that it does reduce your movement speed. Steel arrows. Uh, we do have an iron pick, so we're probably going to try to get that safe open. Wow, this basement is huge. Nine meat! Awesome! Another can of sham, so we'll have something to eat once we get home. Okay, this is going to be loud no matter what. So let's just hammer it down. There's more zombies that are going to come anyway. Wow, this was a great house to have close to you. Got a hoe that, that's going to help us with getting a farm going now. We can, uh, get, uh, I might, now that I know that you can make, uh, make the grass blocks, they didn't take that out good. I can make a farm on top of the base, which would be awesome. Because then I don't have to worry about clearing an area. Oh, there's an airdrop! It's 12 o'clock on day four, and there's an airdrop. We we'll might need to go do that because the airdrops can be rather good. Let's get this this safe and we'll come we'll go get the airdrop. That could be really beneficial for us. Could have some uh, nice guns in it. Um, I don't know. I saw like uh, somebody who got the airdrops. Their airdrops were very good, but mine were okay. I like the airdrops. Um, I got good weapons, good food. Oh, we got a pistol. Okay, let's leave, let's leave that part and go, oh, there's so much to loot in here still, too. Let's loot the backpacks, aw, wooden clubs, that was a bummer. Uh, padded gloves, I think we got the military ones, but we'll keep that and maybe sell it, uh, it's worth a little bit, I guess. There's nothing. Let's go ahead and get, I guess, well, the bones are important because you can make glue from them. Speaking of glue, yummy. <gasps> a hunting rifle and some ammo. That was a good find. Pat, worn boots. Um, what we have on is plus one and plus two, but these sell for 12, so maybe we'll keep them and sell them since we're so close to the merchant. We're so close to home. Let's 
Let's see what got some more ammo. Let's take that gore block. Suitcase and a couple more backpacks. We'll take the ammo. Um, there's nothing under there. A can of soup. Um, yeah, I bet we're down a little food and a little water. So we'll go ahead and eat that. Good, we didn't get food poisoning. <laughs> That's always a bonus. And nothing. Okay. I don't think there's anything in those. They're, they already look like they're dug up, so we're not going to waste our time doing that. Um, I don't think... Oh, we're just encumbered a little bit. Let's look in the trash before we go. I think I might start selling those um, just to clear up some space. There's nothing here. And we already checked out this room. Awesome. Okay. So we got another <laughs> another section of this to <clears throat> to loot and look in for uh, next episode. We're gonna go and try and um, <clears throat> and get is this like a freaking maze in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I might um, let me get a sip of water real quick. We're going to drop this stuff off and head over to the the drop, for the airdrop. Um, then maybe come back and uh, see if we can get some more of the outline, at least the corner towers built up. Alright, some most of the stuff is going to go in here, so... Just, oh no, you guys know. You come back. All right, this stuff goes. Uh, yeah, let's put this stuff. This stuff goes in the food. Got another couple of things to check out. Um, we're still down on stamina. Uh, how much are we down? We're 84%, but we're almost full on water. So let's see if we have anything that's like 16. Oh, that'll work. Perfect. And we have a golden rod tea if we get food poisoning. We'll just throw the can in there. All right, let's go. Let's go to the airdrop. Because we're really smart. Uh, where is it? Um, let's put our quick waypoint over here. Look, there's tons of water there. I think this is the one we went to. There's the rally point all the way up there. Um, depending on how far along we get on our base, we may try to do that before the horde night. Uh, go to that rally point. Um, let's go ahead and gather some yucca. It does make our, our water super powerful. We'll want to gather some more aloe vera to make seeds for our farm. Yeah, I know I'm hot. I'm going through the desert. Uh, let's stop and loot this and let our stamina recover. Ooh, did I not take it? Apparently not. Tons of good rocks over here, but again, it's in the desert, so it'll be really hard for us to come over here and do anything. We need to loot all the birds' nests because I've been selling off the feathers. Uh, get so many now, it's awesome. Hello! 
How are you today? Can I ask you a question? Yeah, I know. Corny. Corny, but it's, that's just who I am. I am corny. There's another zombie. Oh, bird's nest. Shiny. Oh, knock you down, lady. Put some clothes on. Okay, airdrop. Look at those water towers. I wonder if they actually have water in it. Everyone I've seen has been in the desert. Um, Gorglock. Oh, I can't power attack with you. I really need to get used to hitting the number on the uh, the hot key or the hot bar. Um, like you can push one, two, one, two, to switch between my weapons since it's so laggy inside the buildings uh, that when you try to use your mouse wheel, sometimes you just go too far. So I find that that's, um, that's not a good thing. It's not really. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There should be nine. Why is there nine? Oh well. Maybe they should put that as a perk. You get an extra hot bar, a hot key. You get a knife. Usually when you get a little stutter like that, it means um, that a zombie spawns. I found that it's it really hits you like on the horde night. Did I didn't think I got close enough to that cactus. Ooh, bird's nest. Another one right there, too. Uh, I also want to try and check out the trader when we get back and get those. Oh, there it is, right there. So what we got. Oh, look, some uh, modification stuff. This one wasn't as good as the other ones, but wow, water purifier schematic. That sounds amazing. And that's for armor, the other one. Ooh, there's a bear den. Uh, I don't want to go there because I've seen a couple of videos where there are actual bears in there and they're not nice. Uh, I guess if you were prepared, you could make a little hunting shack on the outside of it and lure the bears out where you can kill them without getting dead. Uh, so that might be something that we we try to do. Now we need to go back to the house, drop our goodies off. Um, and go to the trader and get those arrowheads and make those up so that um, when we use up these stone ones or I might just get put them in a chest somewhere in case um, in case we die or something stupid like that <laughs> I mean it could happen you saw that um, I panicked I backed myself into a corner I was getting some sort of lag where I couldn't swing my weapon even though it said it said I was out of stamina even though I had stamina so I don't know um, the heat the heat is real too when you get hot, it actually encumbers you. It takes some of your slots away. Look, it took uh, this away. So the heat buff, if you look at it, you're hot, find clothing or take shelter. When you're hot, you will need more water. So our water is draining down uh, pretty good. It doesn't say much, uh, but about that buff but it does take away because I spent the points and I got this one we should have those slots available and we don't because we're hot so wow 
you really don't have to get very close to those to have them. I just wanted to get some more of this stuff. Uh, we'll want to make some yucca too because uh, I've seen the yucca. It says it's, oh no, we got a buzzard. I don't like the buzzards. There it is. Um, the buzzards don't have that many hit points. And I think, I'm pretty sure with this axe, I could get him one shot with a power attack. Uh, so, let's just try to get to our base. And <laughs> we need to get a top, at least for, oh, this is the spooky part, because it's like um, wasteland. I think um, we might grab some of the papers and look and see what some of them do. Uh, and, and take some of the ones that we're not interested in and go sell them and buy that meat. Uh, there you go. That buzzard's still with us. Oh, look, trash. I got Baj and got two bucks. Um, you don't uh, get, you get experience by selling stuff to the merchant, but you don't get skill. You have to actually spend points um, to get that bonus to your bartering. Um, which we might do before we head over there. Uh, I think, do we have a point? Do we have a point to spend? Oh, we have two. So I think the bartering is under here. Better barter. So let's put a point into it. Yay. And we can't get that one until it three. And we will definitely, what level are we? 14. Uh, we're definitely going to want the three because uh, we got to have four to get our forge. And we'll be able to get the iron tools. Uh, we still haven't found a shovel. Um, so yeah, that's the thing. We definitely want to get the three intellect. We have six levels. We have one point. Uh, we could also craft better items if we put this. So we could get at least, you know, a level two axe, a stone axe and a stone shovel. They won't be a little, they won't be better, but I won't have to repair them as often. And they'll have modification slots. You don't get those at level one. Uh, and crafting is faster, so that's better too. Um... So our next few points we'll probably go ahead and put into the ant to get ready for this uh, this one. Because we'll want to have at least two extra points when we reach 20 to get the, the four ant and the one point in the hammer and forge. So do we have enough now? Um, so we're going to need two more points for that and then one point for that. Hmm. Uh, so that's three points. And we're level 14, that's six. Oops, we, have, we have gobs. We have gobs, guys. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Um, I'm going to save our arrows. Take them with us because we're going to... We're going to make the stuff and things. Oh, there's some iron arrowheads right there. Put that in there. Um, I think we were going to sell these boots. Since we're going over there, we might as well take them. Um, I think we wanted to sell these gloves to... Mm, 
Oh, the silver nuggets. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So let's put some of this food stuff away. And we might actually want to eat before we go. Uh, we're a little bit down, 11. Let's eat this can of pasta. Or, yeah, I don't know, the dog food. I think, I think the dog food is used in a recipe. I know. <laughs> Grandpa's learning elixir. Uh, takes five of them. But that's way, 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 way out. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's eat that. That ought to fill us up. Um, let's look at our hydration real quick. We were in the desert, so it probably drained us. 64. Okay, so let's eat, drink a yucca juice. Because uh, it says 34, but... I think it does more than that because, um, I don't know, we were, yeah, we were, I guess we were about that much down. Okay, anything, do we have, oh, do we have any more iron to take over there? A little bit, a little bit, and I think we had plenty of clay, um, See, I just, I, I think I want to keep this for now. And I think that's all. I think that's all I want to sell. Oh! Uh, the Huntsman? For 30 minutes? I think you would get, the Huntsman gives you more meat. Oh, Pack Mule might be Minor 69er, Master Chef, Hidden Strike. Gunslinger, 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 that eye, better barter. Ooh, that might be nice to like, if you've got a whole bunch of stuff to sell, to just go and uh, give, give yourself a couple of levels of better barter. Is that what that does? It gives you one level. Okay. So let's um, take a couple of these since we have multiples of them and, and we'll go sell what we got now quickly. It's 15 o'clock. We still got work to do. Um, while we're doing this, why don't we try to get the two corners where a ladder is. So that would be three times six seven be 21 42 so let's try to make 42 flagstone blocks wow that's a lot but we got it we got it and then i want to probably get some more dirt and make some more cobblestone rocks and try to um uh, everybody's starting to wake up <laughs> hopefully we can get this i left the doors open how rude was I born in a barn or something? Let's go put uh, stuff in the forge. Uh, get our arrowheads out. Look at all those arrowheads. That's awesome. So, uh, let's um, favorite that. Also, let's favorite the nails. Um, maybe we we'll might want to make a few of those. Uh, those are useful to make the bigger storage. So we'll make those for next time and then go ahead and make the rest into the forged iron. Excellent. Okay, we'll let that go. got our stuff and things. Let's go uh, buy that meat. Sell, sell our stuff. Uh, we want to sell the worn boots for 21. So 
hustle or a couple of cash. <laughs> yeah, doesn't seem like much. Uh, that only sells for nine, but these ought to sell pretty well. You do get experience. You can see it going up. It's good. It's based on the price, I think, of each item. Uh, so if you get close to a level, you want to make sure you start selling things individually uh, so that you don't lose out. Oh, and we also wanted to sell these, which are 175. Awesome. Um, so we wanted the food. We wanted this. Oh, and it's only 11 now. We save a buck. Er. And we can totally buy those. Yes. I think we'll be good. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> we made him happy too. All right. Uh, make sure the door's shut. Awesome. So we got nails going over there. Tomorrow we can make better storage containers. Uh, that'll be awesome. Let's put our stuff and things. Uh, away maybe get some more bacon and eggs cooking up down here if we have the eggs do we have the eggs look we're sort of low on the eggs that's only gonna make five and we have enough meat for oh we have another 10 in there wow okay we need to definitely loot uh, how, how long is that gonna take five a minute 17 so there we go Make those guys up. We got some extra meat. Uh, we'll have to wait to cook until we get the stuff and things. Okay, let's put our dukes away. And let's make up all these arrows. Man, that's awesome. Uh, let's get rid of the stone arrows. So we don't have to, we're not going to make those anymore unless we're just desperate. Okay, and I think, um, let's go ahead and put that away. Uh, we might be able to put that away. I want to, also, we're gonna, we're gonna have to go chop down some trees because we're really low on wood, and I want to get some more of the, uh, stuff and things. Um, I think these have grown from my, it should only be like 300. I don't know that I want them this close. They just cut down the visibility. So maybe I might go the other way. To replant. Because there's more room over here. Like Even these are too close, I think. I want to get some type of fencing. We're going to try to record until uh, 20 o'clock. We'll see if uh, people are starting to get up. And and they can't come in here while I'm recording. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm weird like that. So, yeah, let's try to get some more wood. Ooh. We've got some more. We want to make some more wood frames. Let's get like 50 of those. Awesome. So let's cut down another tree. Uh, we want to like replant these, but maybe not so close to our base. Maybe we'll go closer to the crater or closer to the road. Let's go ahead and cut, cut this one down. And it's just a baby, but it's too close. It's going to impede my view. Alright, so we got seven. Actually, let's go on the other side of the road and plant these. So it's it's pretty close by, but it's not going to be impeding our view around the base, which would be nice to not have to worry about that. And then we'll have plenty of wood to chop later. Awesome. It's looking good. Oh, a 
<laughs> an unsearched bird nest. That's a rare thing to find around here. Oh, here's another one. Have we looked in this one? Yeah. Okay, so my thoughts are, let's get our blocks here. We'll also want to dig down one. So we got this, uh, this corner marked out already. So let's start here. So that should give us enough for uh, three towers on each side, or three pillars on each side. And that will solidify this, um, this section of our base, and we'll sort of, we'll sort of see how it turns out. Now I've done this type before, but I plan on not closing this inner part off. Maybe just putting traps, um, but not making it solid <laughs> like I would normally do. So anyway, let's build this up. <laughs> um, there. Where are, I think we're still making arrows. So yeah, these will be three apart, which will be awesome. Uh, I don't have enough. We're still, we're still making arrows, which is good. So let's just go ahead. Uh, uh, Do we check these? That's empty. That's empty. And about me. And that's empty. Okay. We might want to go ahead and like uh, kill these off so I don't keep going back because they're not going to respawn close, this close to the base, right? Uh, so we'll just kill it. Power chop. Chop. Power chop. And you get a little bit of feathers out of it. And a little bit of um, what you call it? Uh, plant fibers. <laughs> And there comes our frames. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And we can put this in. Now we'll need to fill all this in. And make... Spider monkeys can't just uh, have free access. I call them spider monkeys because they're monkeys that climb. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't know why. They climb things like a monkey. A monkey climbs. They're spiders. Spider monkeys. They make a horrendous sound. All right. Uh, now we need to. Oh, I think I'm going to need some more. Let's make, uh, like, 50 more wood frames. Yes. Okay, so we need to mark this one out. One, two, three, four. Back up. One, two. Come on, stupid grass. And then one, two, three, four. Oh my gosh, the grass is a pain. Okay, so let's dig these up and build up these towers. There we go. I know this is not very exciting, but uh, you got to do it, man. You got to build your base. You got to defend it. Otherwise, the horde will eat you. Um, once it hits 20 o'clock, I'm probably going to pop, uh, stop the recording again. Uh, that seems to be about a good, a good routine. I will stop at 20 o'clock, and I can do some, you know, concentrated gathering. Uh, 
do some gathering off uh, while I'm not recording. It's a, you know, it's a little bit monotonous, but you got to do it. You got to gather stuff, and stuff. There we go. Uh, now this end is a little bit better. Fill this part in. Yes. Fill this part in. Awesome. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. I uh, want to do this one. Ease over. There we go. Awesome. And that. I'm pretty much uh, going to do the same thing uh, all the, on the other side and then connect these two. Put another tower there. It's going to take um, a bit more of the cobblestone, so I'm going to have to gather. Uh, we have almost 500 stone, but that's not going to be enough, especially if we want to upgrade our inner pillars. Uh, so definitely going to have to do some more gathering. Uh, I would definitely like to get uh, the ring around this. Uh, solidified to uh, the cobblestone blocks but that might come later we might leave leave them as the wood frames for now also um, let's go ahead and make some more wood frames and I'm gonna lay out this middle area sort of uh, I'll probably go ahead and do wood for now and then upgrade it later uh, because this area hopefully is not going to be attacked by zombers. Um, let's, let's go ahead and make I don't want this floor doesn't have to be as high as the other one I made this a little bit higher because the zombies can jump. It's six tall, so there's five blocks uh, in between us. So that should give us a little bit better room. But this, this floor only needs to be, I don't want it too tall. I want it at least three inside. So we'll make it four tall. Uh, so four times nine is 36. Let's see, oops, if we can make 36 flagstone blocks. We can. Let's do it. Okay, so that will give us our pillars So uh, as the cobblestone, which the cobblestone can carry much more load than... The wood frames let's see i think you can see it's got a mass of 10 and a horizontal support of 120 um, and it's got 500 hit points uh, the wood frame has a mass of five but only supports 40 so you do get a lot more that means that if you're only using wood you can support eight but if you're using the, the flagstone, uh, wow, you can support um, 12, 24, but the max is 15. And I hear a zombie. Oh, it's a wandering horde. Oh, and my, my axe is, hey bud, what? No, we're not open for business yet. We will be shortly. We're planning on uh, having a little zombie amusement park uh, with rides, fun for the kids, <laughs> fun for everyone. Oh, I backed up too quick again. Oh yeah. So it's gonna be a good time. We'll we'll go clubbing. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
They just can't wait. Uh, I know. I know. Can't wait for the amusement park to open. It's it's gonna be great. Good times for all. Zombie and human alike will have fun. Oh yeah, 15. Got enough skill point. We can put that in our intelligence. Uh, we can spend three more points and then the last three that we get while we're getting to level 20, we want to save. So that uh, when we hit 20, we can get the forge. Which will be awesome. We have access to the forge, but this will allow us to make the tools ourselves. Um, which we might get a better quality. Um, we might find some mods we can put in them. It'll be awesome. So, what do you think? I know it's it's um it's still a work in progress, but I'm hoping you guys enjoy what we're, we're working on here. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, so uh, I don't like this tree here. We're gonna cut this down uh, so we get a little bit clearer view. And we're gonna cut this other one down. And they they they're just so busy on the bottom when they're growing like that. There we go. And we'll we'll move those across the road like the other ones. Let's go do that. See, the, you get the zombies when they're out and about. Uh, it's not as big a deal to get them in a chain like that um, in the day <laughs> when they're not running. Uh, and you can just beat them down. We don't have our iron on us, but we definitely need to... Okay, we got a little bit more time. Get that one. Yeah. We got a little bit more time. I want to call it at 20 o'clock. So, um, yeah, we're going to finish. Uh, we're going to put the supports up top so that we can have a safe area for vultures up here while we're killing the zombies uh, below. So we want to go up for... <laughs> We're going to make the supports out of cobble, just like these. And then we'll fill in, uh, we'll fill in the rest with wood. It's going to be great. And then we could put a little farm area up top. Maybe. We'll see, but that's for a future. There we go, a couple more. And we'll build this out until 20 o'clock and then I'll probably gather some more offline. Um, so basically we're just gonna make a roof over it. I will eventually make these solid blocks, but for now, uh, we're, we're a little bit low on the wood, so we're just going to make them frames for the moment. And we're going to have walls. <laughs> I just don't have enough wood. I need to chop and chop and chop and get this... Uh, so it's going to be great. It's going to, like I said, it's going to be an amusement park for, for zombie kind and human kind. It's going to be a place where we can all coexist peacefully together. And <laughs> yeah, there's the, the zombies will come and there'll be an obstacle course, um, amusement park type thing, uh, rides involving spikes um, <laughs> I think they're really gonna love it at least I hope they do I hope they come and, and visit we'll have 
the chat and we'll make uh, some, you know, cotton candy or something. <laughs> Sit down and have a, have a beer together, you know, like good friends always do. You gotta take the zombies club and show them a good time. They're our friends. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> uh, you probably couldn't tell that because I don't have my sarcasm hat on. Uh, but generally speaking, uh, my mouth is moving. Um, yeah, I'm being sarcastic. Alright, so we're probably going to want access to the roof here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so lots of wood. We're going to solidify the walls here. It's close enough to 20 o'clock. We're going to go ahead and call it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I know a lot of it was just building and gathering. We did some looting. Got an airdrop. Uh, we got some good mod recipes, uh, which we need to look at those because those look pretty awesome. There was like a water purifier thing. Like, what the heck? <laughs> What is that? Uh, I don't know, but it sounded cool. Let's go look at it and see if we can read something about it. What? Here it is. Water purifier schematic. Schematics are used to some green. Okay, that doesn't tell us anything about it. It's tier two, so we can't make it until we're yeah science two. Um, purifies any water consumed while installed in your helmet. Oh, that is cool. So you could just use the crappy toilet water and drink toilet water. <laughs> well, that's kind of, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Saves you a step from having to cook the water, but you know, you can, anyway, that is awesome. And this one is the steel plating. We also got these. I don't know what a muzzle break is. Um, what it, is that for like um, a bike or something? Diverts the propellant gases to reduce recoil. No, that looks like something that goes on a weapon. So it reduces the recoil of a weapon, um, of like a gun. That's awesome. Okay, so um, I'm gonna take, actually you don't belong in there. Um, put you where you belong. Awesome. So we're going to call the episode here. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the episode. If you do, remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. Uh, we're probably going to try to head to the rally point next time because we made a lot of good progress on the base today. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.